continuing from my last video this is a question on um, differentiation so the equation of the curve is y is equal to square root of 5x plus 4 calculate the gradient of the curve at the point x is equal to 1 so whenever the word gradient comes gradient is nothing but the derivative function okay so let me write so y i'm going to write this as 5x plus 4 to the power half now we want to differentiate so i'll use the derivative so d by dx of y is equal to d by dx of the right hand side which is 5x plus 4 to the power half so d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx okay now when you when you're differentiating this function we always you need to use the chain rule so this is um, a safe way of doing uh, a different ways of doing it but i i believe always differentiate that you got the inside function and the whole function so this is a composite function so always differentiate the inside so the inside is 5x plus 4 and the whole is the square root so i'll first differentiate the inside so derivative of or the differentiation of 5x plus 4 is 5 and the differentiated differentiation of outside is the power function so that is half drop the power down and decrease the power by one so half take away one so dy by dx would be five times half is nothing but 2.5 times 5x plus 4 half take over one is negative half okay so let me scroll down a little so this is equal to 2.5 times 1 over 5x plus 4 to the power half so finally divide by dx is 2.5 over square root of 5x plus pretty easy now we want to find the derivative at x is equal to 1 so we'll write like this so dy by dx at x is equal to 1 so you what you have to do is you have to simply substitute the value of 1 into this so that is 2.5 divided by square root of 5 times 1 plus 4 which is 2.5 divided by square root of this is 5 plus 4 which is 9 which is 2.5 over 3 which is if it simplifies this is 25 over 30 which is 5 6 okay so this is your right answer now mm, you may not be allowed a graphic calculator but just to confirm the calculator also graphic if you uh, are allowed a graphic calculator just to show you that a calculator can work this out okay so shortcut the graphic calculator if you go to run menu so option if you go under option this is f4 is calculus so d by dx of uh, we have got the square root so shift square root and put this in the bracket 5x plus 4 close the bracket and I want at 1 so you have to put a comma and close the bracket equal 0 0.83333 that is nothing but 5 6 so if you go 5 divided by 6 would be the same number okay so this is 5 6 is fine so you confirmed our answer okay the next next question is a question of an integration okay so what does it say find the find the area of the curve let me scroll this up a little find the area of the curve enclosed by the curve uh, the x-axis and the y-axis and the line so I'll draw the curve first to give you a 
understanding of what the graph looks like. So this is a square root function. So just to plot some points. So when x is 0, so it's, uh, this is 0, so let us take some points. When x is 0, uh, what is the function? y is equal to square root of 5x plus 4. So when x is 0, this becomes 0, so this will be 2. So this is 1, this is say 1, and this is 2. Okay? If it is 1, so this is 0, sorry, this is 0, and 0, 2 is a point. So when x is say 1, suppose this is say 1, let me only take the need points. When x is 1, so 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. So that is 3. Yeah. So when x is 1, y is 3. So the next point would be somewhere here. Yeah. Okay. So this is one point, And this is the other point. Which will be the next point? So it is 3. So next is 16. So if you take 3, no, so you have to get, so your graph will look somewhat like this. Okay, I'm not drawing, this not a perfect sketch. This is just a, uh, so let me draw better. So this is 2, and if we draw, we're interested only in this part. It goes somewhat like this. Okay, it's a square root function. And... Uh, you want to find the area under the curve. This is the curve. This is the curve of this function. The x-axis, this is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. And the line x is equal to 1. So let me draw the line x is equal to 1. So it is a line. Oops. So a line passing like here. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So the question is, you want to find this area. So yeah, we have to use integration or definite integration. So this is your 1. OK, and this is your line x is equal to 1. So this is your curve. This is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. So the area under the curve, you can find by integrating the function between 0 to 1 of that function, which is? square root of 5x plus 4 dx. Okay, so here, let us integrate. Okay, so we are using, so this is integration of 0 to 1 of 5x plus 4 to the power half dx. So when you're integrating, you have to apply the uh, inverse chain rule. Now, this is how you can remember. See, when, if you were differentiating this, you would have multiplied by phi first. And integration is the opposite of differentiation. So you have to divide by phi. Okay? And in integration, what you do is you add the power by 1 and divide by that same power. So this is 5x plus 4 to the power. If we add 1 to this, so that will be 3 halves divided by 3 halves. Okay? And this is, you don't need the constant of integration. That is 0 to 1. Okay? So let me go. So this is 3 halves. That is same as 2 bracket 5x plus 4 to the power 3 half over 15, the limits of integration is 0 to 1. So you have to put the value of 0 to 1 here, and so you, you'll put the value of 1 and then take away the value of 0, So which is 2 fifteenths of, so what happens when it is 2 fifteenths of, when you put 1, that will be 9. Okay, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 4 is 9. And if you put 0, you know, 9 to the power, 3 halves, 1.5 minus 0. So this is equal to, I'll show this, I can check this on a calculator. So this is uh, 2 times 
times 9 to the power 1.5 divided by 15. So let us use a calculator. Uh, shortcut menu 1. So 2 times 9 raised to 1.5 divided by 15. Hopefully, I have not done any mistake. Uh, pretty um, sure. Okay, so that is 3.6. It's a tidy number. So the answer is 3.6. The area is 3.6. So let's confirm this on the graphic calculator just for fun. So this is how we can do in option menu run option. Go to calculus and integration of square root of bracket 5x plus 4 close the bracket and the limits of integration are 0 to 1. Hopefully we are right. We have done some mistake. Square root of 0 to 1. Okay, I'll try to find my mistake and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.